All right, Kendrick, we got a uh, layover here in LAX, and uh, you know it's always tons of fun. But uh, lots of fun. <laughs> well, let's talk about something that was lots of fun. Uh, Hawaii. What was that like? Oh, it was an amazing experience. We, uh, you know, you never get to travel to a place that's usually hot. Uh, you know, the people were awesome. They were great hosts, and uh, it was a great time being out there and training. When you look at the, you know, the tournament you guys had, you had two champs, and you're a young team, really young team. Oklahoma's like super young. DeAngelis is the only senior on the team, you know. And uh, looking at how young you guys are, what do you think the young guys got out of the experience? I think they got a lot of matches in. They, every guy got four to five matches. They got experience. Uh, NCAA tournament is about putting five matches together, and that's kind of what that mimicked up there in Hawaii. You'd know a thing about putting five, four or five matches together at the NCAA tournament, and NCAA champ. Um, how different is you know going from being a com competitor to a coach? You know, you're teammates with a lot of these guys. What you know, what's it like the, the change been for you in the transition? Uh, it's been a great change. I have Coach Cody who's made the transformation a lot easier on me. Um, it's it's fun. You know, you get to see that the whole another side of it. You get to see, you know, a lot more of the mental side with uh, looking at everybody else instead of just yourself. Uh, and it's it's been a blessing. Uh, you know, you and I were just talking about you potentially competing again. And you're a tweener as far as 74 kilos and 65. As a tweener, right now, do you go down? What do you do being a tweener? Do you go 70? What do you do? Yeah. Well, I'm probably only weighing like 49, you know, only getting up to maybe 52. So, you know, it's do I go down to 45 or just wrestle Olympic weight at uh, 33 or 34? And uh, something I'm going to talk about with Coach Leitner, you know, he's been a big part of my whole career. And uh, I think once we decide, you know, we can start making those adjustments while they're getting on us. Uh, stricter weightlifting program are cutting down. So. Last year, you know, you're you're defending national champ. You go up a weight. You don't finish. You know, you're you're an all American, which is pretty awesome. But you know, you're national champ the year before. Is that something that was disappointing to you? How do you deal with that? And you know, what what was what were you dealing with as far as horsepower difference in change in weight? What was what was going on last year as going up from 41 winning national title? And, and, being an All-American is pretty awesome. I'm just going to put that out there. But being the defending champ, going up a weight, what was that like? It's definitely different. I mean, uh, we decided to go up just kind of as a joke. Me and our uh, other pound, our 149 pounder, Nick Lester, we were like, hey, we're just going to switch weights and uh, end up happening. And uh, wasn't weighing very much and tried to get my weight up. Had a couple uh, stomach conditions that didn't allow me. I was throwing up before a lot of my matches. Uh, didn't help. But, uh, I mean, and then it was disappointing. Not what I wanted, but it's definitely not what defines me or my career. And I think I had a great career for, uh, I had a lot of people support me, and I just like to thank them. Um, it's just a great opportunity. It's got to be nice to know you still got a national title at home. Is that nice? Yeah, it's nice. I like to have two, but you know, it is what it is. And it's still, end of the day, you can go and cherish that. Being such a young coach, you know, what's it like being such a young coach? You know, we talked about your, your teammates with a lot of the guys last year. Now you're coaching them. What's that like? And do you see, like, oh, man, he's, he's my friend. Maybe I lived with this guy, but now I'm coaching him. Do you see that a lot? And is that a, is that a thing that's kind of a weird transition? Yeah, it's definitely weird going in, but these guys have been great. You know, they're showing that level of respect, and they're showing maturity to where when they, uh, they're they going with me and how they show that uh, respect and see us as coaches. Um, and it's good being that cl close to their age because I can, you know, know what they're going through. Know they're, they feel comfortable coming to talk to me, and uh, it's just been great. When you look at this whole trip, going to Hawaii, how great is it for recruiting? Oh, I think it's awesome. We get to see some of the kids from Hawaii and talent, and uh, just um, for kids out there, you know, you come to Oklahoma, you're going to get to go to tournaments like this. Get to go to Hawaii, uh, see the world a little bit. I think it's uh, good for the sport just to spread. Uh, where you're actually wrestling at. I think that we should do a lot more of these. Uh, what was your favorite thing about the trip? You know, as far as did you get to go snorkeling? Did you get to go cliff diving? Did you surf? Did you do anything really cool? Yeah, I mean, uh, we see some family out there. I have a family out there. I took my wife as well. So I think the best part was just relaxing on the beach, enjoying warm weather when back home it's, you know, pretty cold. Ice storm. <laughs> yeah, ice storm. All right, who got the worst burn? Ross Larson? Oh, probably Ross Larson. He lay down and fell asleep. <laughs> He's like a lobster. <laughs> It doesn't look too bad, but I'd maybe go up and give him a smack. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. If there's, you know, one thing about the, the whole trip that you would want people to know that maybe you and I haven't talked about, what would it be? Um, just I think more people should be involved. It's, uh, it's definitely worth it. It's uh, just going out there and training, um, seeing the sights. Amazing. Will we see you in the U.S. Open or the World Team Trials? Uh, to be determined. To be determined? <laughs> yeah. You're going to leave me cliffhanging like that? Try. <laughs> All right. Hey, anything else?
No, just blessed. <laughs> Thanks for the time. Enjoy the trip back to Norman. Thank you.